Hey there guys, it's Mason with Rig Pipes. I wanted to make this video because recently I've been receiving a lot of questions about something that I posted on my Instagram, actually. I received uh, probably 20 or 30 me like personal messages um, wondering you know, what it is that I was using. So I figured instead of taking all that time and trying to do it through text, it would be better for me to just send you guys a video that way. That way you guys can see what it is that I'm doing. So what this is, this is just like a little rig that I have. It basically, it's a clamp, a pipe, and a sanding belt that you use to finish up the sanding on a stem of a pipe. So like, let's say th this is just a like a burner pipe that I have lying around. Um, it's not one of mine, but I'll, it'll be good for demonstration. Once the stem has already been shaped to rough shaping, one of the best things that you can do to get all of the big scratches out is actually to put it in a, uh, what would this be called, like a vise or a clamp of some kind, and use these sanding belts to basically hand belt sand it. So you just, you just do one of those guys. And then you can always, so this is 600 grit, but then you can always move up. I find that the Merca Abranet is really good. You can even take this and go like that. But it's just a lot easier than, you know, trying to sit there with it in your hand. And so I find if you just work up the, work your way up the grits of the sandpaper, you can get a really nice finish and, and get all, a lot of the scratches out probably in a half to a quarter of the time. Basically what I have here, this is actually a multi-clamp that was from an old drum set that I have and it's just clamped in a vise. But you don't have to use this particular thing exactly. I think they're like 20 bucks. But um, you can use any clamp type thing. You could even just put this in a straight vise. You'll just want to, you know, pad around the, the teeth. That way it doesn't dig into the pipe. But any kind of thing that you can use to hold hold the pipe stationary while you're sanding, even if you're not using the back and forth belt motion that I was doing previously like this, even just having this here, that way you can go like that instead of having to, you know, work with it in your hands, it really does aid in the finishing process. So um, I thought I would share that with you. Oh, by the way, the sanding belts that I'm using, you can pick them up at Rockler. They're just, um, let me see, can I get, okay, multi, sorry, I have this on a, like a tripod, the multi-roll sanding pack, and then these other little sanding pads that I have, they are the Merca, not like Mer Merca, no, like uh, Merca Abranet, these, these guys are awesome, I use these. So there's just a couple of tips for you, the, hopefully, hopefully that helps, um, it saves me a lot of time when making stems, just in the finishing part of the stem because you can ch -ch 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 and then just rotate it around and then ch -ch -ch -ch. so <laughs> you like that ch -ch -ch. alrighty guys well I hope that helps and um, yeah that's cool uh, let me know what you think in the comments um, let me know if this was helpful to you and I can't wait to hear from you guys to see if you've been using it and to see if it helps you all right have a good one take care